first tonight uh, clearing the air and pointing some fingers at the beach. Five Republicans for President debated tonight on the Grand Strand. In Commitment 2012 tonight, we join News 4's Myra Ruiz, who is live in Myrtle Beach. Myra, how did it go? Well, Carol and Michael, it went pretty well, pretty heated. It's ending with fireworks, which you can probably hear behind me right now. Now, the conversation really got heated. Most of the candidates seem to have the, a uniform stance against the Obama administration and perhaps even Ron Paul when it came to the United States' role overseas, whether it was negotiating with the Taliban, setting up an embassy in Syria, or even Turkey's presence in NATO. But it all started off in the debate with a candidate showing a little bit more of their personality the debate began with the candidates clearing up criticism from the campaign trail. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich of Georgia justified using negative ads. Staying positive through Iowa, through three and a half million dollars of negative attacks, proved you either have to unilaterally disarm and leave the race, or you have to at least bring up your competitor's record. Texas Congressman Ron Paul also defended his own ads. There was one ad that uh, we used against Senator Santorum, and uh, I was only, I only had one problem, is I couldn't get all the things in I wanted to say in one minute. <laughs> Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney repeated much of what he has said all along. Uh, my experience in the private sector. Took and added that he'll answer questions in his own way. Brett, I need a little longer than that. We had a well, couple things be raised. Of, uh, time. Well, 30 let's, seconds for this let's, time. Let's take a little more time than that. I, Texas Governor Rick Perry said he'd like Romney to disclose his income to the public. And, and Mitt... We need for you to release your income tax so the people of this country can see how you made your money. Former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum explained where he stood on extending unemployment benefits. It's just like I did with welfare reform when we reformed welfare. We sent it back to the states and we gave the states the flexibility to design these programs. Right now, everybody is applauding the fireworks show that just ended minutes ago, and people are starting to leave the convention center right now. Tomorrow morning, you will hear from political analyst Chip Belkel of Greenville, who is here, and he's going to give us his assessment of how this debate went. Myra Ruiz, W.